Oh boy, what's up everybody? How's it going? Sorry about that. I was just ransacking my room looking for this. My second NES controller. Because I know i completely forgotten we're doing Smash TV tonight. I knew I had it somewhere. What's up, Dominic? Worst Elephant? Eva? Satellite? Arcane? Labor Retro Spiso? RV Winkle? Hi everybody! Happy Saturday! I hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. Thanks. Um... Things could be a little better around here. It turns out my uh, my little one is is rather sick again, and that uh, torpedoed a few of our plans for the weekend. But but she was still able to go to her uh, her classes and stuff today, so not not so bad. Uh, I had a little bit of time that I spent in uh, Lego Star Wars. I think I'm I think I'm creeping up on fifty percent completion in that. Cragger, my god, thank you so much for subscribing 44 months, dude. That is incredibly generous of you. Thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Worm, yes. Oh, we're going to talk about Worm. Hopefully, hopefully tonight we can get through all five or four. Because we can kind of gloss over Super Mario World. We played the hell out of that. Uh, I would really like to focus on these four NES uh, features tonight. But yeah, I saw that. Uh, one heck of an issue. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It's um, it's this one, if you remember from from your childhood, the first Super NES cover feature, Super Mario World. But yeah, lots of lots of really really great games in this one. <laughs> I'm sorry that your obligation just stopped you making incremental progress on your little Lego game, Puppet Man. <laughs> But I'm a little one. She just has a cold. It's it's no big deal. Every time this ha this has happened a lot. This is like the third or fourth time this has happened. But basically, my my six year old, she'll get sick, and then we panic, and we give her a home COVID test, and it's never COVID. So we've got that going for us at least. Um, and I'm very very thankful for that. But you know it's. I, I know it's not this way for everybody, but it's kind of a different culture now. When when you get sick, like you really just don't do things, you know. Like you like I I feel I feel a lot more conscious about like staying away from other people and like like canceling plans and stuff than I ever did before. So and I I think ultimately that's a good thing. It's just an an adjustment that needs to be made. You know, because there's always that concern about disappointing other other folks that you plan to do stuff with. But yeah, the priority definitely feels different now. Yes, very true, Manic. We've got we've got like I think half a dozen stockpiled here uh, that we've been working through. Hmm. <sighs> Super Mario World again. I don't know what I would do if anybody actually requested Super Mario World. I'm, I'm genuinely not sure how I would approach that. <clears throat> Did we hit this one before? Not this, no, this is our first night on this, on this volume, on volume 28. Um, oh, if you're asking about Super Mario World, yes, I did, I did a 96 exit run back of Super Mario World. Um, Jesus Christ, when did I do that? Last summer? Time has no meaning for me anymore. I don't know when I did things. I don't even remember if I did a lot of things, but... Yeah, be beats me. Take decades for me to unlearn to be concerned about others when sick? Yeah. <laughs> you reviewed it before you even got halfway through. <laughs> that is actually... If, if, if you want to be that guy, that's actually legit, because I still haven't finished the uh, the episodes in uh, Skywalker Saga either, because I've been waiting for my daughter, but she's sick right now. So, But I know how I feel about it. If I can't... If, if you don't think I can recommend a game to somebody after playing it for 35 hours, you can fuck right off. <laughs> What's up, Shadows? Good to see you. <laughs> that's really cute. I like that. Um, before we get started, and I, I may need to remind people of this in the middle in the middle of the stream as well. Um, I've I've already I've already changed the emote requesting scheme again already, um, because our channel artist had had a uh, had a brainwave and basically came up with a much better plan than I ever could have. 
so you have them to thank for it. Um, forget the ramping cost thing. Ramping cost out the window. Terrible idea. Never happened. What kind of idiot comes up with ideas of that? Just, for, just, just put it out of your head. Uh, the cost to request an emote now is cheaper than ever before. It's only 2500 So request emotes to your heart's content. However, however, they are weaker suggestions than they are before. Um, previously, any request you would put in, we would, we would make the effort to make. Uh, and then if we couldn't make it, if, if there was if there was some difficulty in making it, like it wasn't coming out, it was beyond our capabilities, then we would refund your coin. Uh, but if we could make it, it, we would make it. Now, it is it is very much a suggestion. We will take it under consideration. Same deal though. If your emote does not get made, you'll get your coins back. So you can you can suggest stuff risk free. That's no problem. Um, it's just we're gonna have a bit more control over what goes in, what we what we approve and disapprove, um, and we're also gonna start updating emotes in batches. Uh, we are going to update stuff around the first of every month. Uh, you, you know how I do I, I do like a metrics recap on the channel over on uh, Discord, usually at the end of the month or the beginning of the next one. Well, coupled with that, I'm also going to announce changes to the emote lineup. So, whatever whatever emote requests you put in between now and the end of the month, we're going to talk, me and the channel artist, we're going to talk about those, we're going to strategize, we're going to make one, we're going to make whatever ones we can. Um, and then you'll find out at the end of the month uh, what's what's going in and what's moving out. So, this gives us more... More time to strategize, more time to figure out what kind of emote batch we're going to end up with. Also gives a chance for new emotes um, to prove themselves. It'll give new emotes a full month before they risk getting pushed out. Uh, so I will remind you all again, this hasn't changed. If, if we introduce a new emote and you really like it, use it. Because when we get new emotes, uh, I, I'm basically looking at usage metrics. I have that on the back end. I see how many times and how many people have used each emote, both on our channel and elsewhere on Twitch. And that is what I am looking at when, I, when I'm uh, going to cut an emote. So, all right, that's, that's my emote spiel. So don't worry about ramping costs anymore. Request emotes willy-nilly, just go crazy with it. It's, you're welcome to it. Uh, just understand, nothing is guaranteed anymore. We will take them under consideration, and every month you'll have a new batch of emotes to check out. So. <clears throat> Was I hallucinating old guy from that weird RPG emote? He, he's already out. Uh, we put him in, we made him, we put him in about two weeks ago, and we've had so many emote requests that he's already been pushed out. Because uh, he also didn't see a whole lot of use in that time, so. If you love him to death, oh yeah, that's the other thing. The uh, bring back an old emote request thing is still here. Uh, it's more expensive, it's 10K now instead of 8K. Uh, and those adjustments will also be made around the first of the month, just so every, uh, all the updates can be around the same time and we can strategize around that. So it's more expensive because it is, it is a curveball and it is something that we will honor. We're not leaving that up to our own discretion. If you, request, if you request an old emote coming back, it will come back. Um, but we need time to figure out how and how to do that. Here and then immediately gone, just like Faria. Picked up a set of games I'm looking forward to. Got most of the modern F XCOMs. Nice. Very nice shadows. I have played, I played vanilla, the vanilla XCOM remake, but I haven't played Enemy Within. I have all of XCOM 2 and I've never done that and I've, I've never tried Chimera Squad, so. XCOM is one of those things that I, I fantasize about streaming one day, but I don't know I don't know if the channel can take it. <laughs> I don't I don't know if my channel would survive streaming a whole bunch of XCOM games. Maybe it would. Maybe maybe that's the, the, the hidden key to success that I've been dancing around, but who knows? <clears throat> I love XCOM games though. I love I love XCOM Apocalypse, and I love the XCOM Remake. Um, I haven't really played the other one, but those two are, are enough for me to be like, yes, I am an XCOM fan. I love it. 
I would love, I would love nothing more than to play, do a full playthrough of XCOM Apocalypse for you all. That game is magic. <laughs> An Apocalypse stream would be the best. Apocalypse is so cool. It is such a neat game. And it kind of sucks to me. I, I, I almost feel kind of disadvantaged because Apocalypse was my first XCOM game. And honestly, like... None of none of the other XCOM games. I've I've tried the older ones, but like no other XCOM game really reaches the heights of insanity that Apocalypse does. You can do the sickest shit in Apocalypse. <clears throat> I stopped watching one of my favorite YouTubers when we switched to mostly XCOM. Yeah, that's the threat. That's that's the thing. I feel like I feel like me streaming XCOM would be about as polarizing as me streaming JRPG. Um, and I don't, I don't know what exactly to think about that, so. <clears throat> UFO defense tear from the deep still worth a go even compared to modern. They're very different. They're very, very, very different game. I would, I would start, I would start with the newer ones. They're just, they're just more user friendly. Uh, and then if you're curious, go back to the original. Chimera Squad is extremely refined. I bet be easy to stream. You do stream JRPGs? Yeah, I know. I really want to do XCOM someday. I really, really, really do want to do XCOM, but we'll see. We'll see. It's 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 something that I debate with myself all the time. I debate a lot of things with myself regarding this channel. Y'all know that. I'm I'm always languishing behind the scenes trying to trying to figure out what I should do and when I should do it. So we're we're in an unusual period of clarity right now. Where I know exactly what I'm gonna be doing for like the next month. So. Chimera Squad is like cops, but you're an XCOM squad. I still love that in the OG Yu-Gi-Oh! gems like tank has panicked. <laughs> it can be scary for a tank. Oh god. Um the thing about the thing about XCOM Apocalypse is so cool is that everything is insanely destructible. It's so like Every every map that you go into is like completely it, it, it's totally destructible. Um, and just to give you an example, um, one of my favorite memories of XCOM Apocalypse is I had just unlocked a uh, high explosive, basically a, a big C4 bomb, uh, and I was really excited to try it out. Right, so I responded to a call in a hydroponics farm, and the hydroponics farm map, at least this one in particular is four big glass towers um with uh like i forget how many floors it's like five or six uh it's like five or six floors um and each one has like gardens and stuff on it it's where it's where the city grows all their all their produce right and so uh through each tower is like a central spire with an elevator that goes up or levitator or whatever the fuck and then they're connected by glass sky bridges so it's this, it's this big futuristic hydroponics glass tower complex, right? So I start up, I start up the mission, and immediately there's a multi worm in in the in the elevator shaft of like the nearest tower. And multi worms are bad news. Multi worms are like these giant acid spitting slug things, and when you kill them, um, these like mini worms pop out, and they are fast, and they can chew your people up. And early on in the game. They they are squad killers. So I was like, all right, well, I got my new toy. I am not screwing with this. So I armed my high uh, my high explosive pack and I had my dude chuck it into the elevator. And this explosion took up the entire screen. It just blew everything out. It vaporized the bottom of the tower. The flames went up through the elevator and out like the second story and just blew all the glass out, set everything on fire there. And that was enough damage <laughs> to completely destroy the foundations of the tower and the whole thing collapsed. So I got that multi worm, I got its little babies, and I got everything else in that tower. However, however, the stress of that tower collapsing pulled down the glass walkways to the other towers and it pulled down their facades 
which then crunched their supports and collapsed those towers. And I just, it just domino affected through the entire hydroponics farm until all that was left was a giant pile of glass and rubble. And then I won the mission because I had killed everything by destroying every building on the map. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yes, I absolutely want to play XCOM Apocalypse Real sometime. It'd be great. Oh, there's the hero we need. We talked about text adventures that got poo-pooed away, but open sourcers that hit at least the first one. The first one was, yes. C++ unfortunately was. Um, I think, I think with text adventures, they have to be, they would have to be contained to an evening. I think, I think we could get away with one, one night at a time of text adventures. Um, I would be willing to try that at least. I want to just play the old text version of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. That would be amazing. That and Lurking Horror. Zork Knight. Quick mission. <laughs> it was. It was a very quick mission, and I was I was uh, I was awarded for my efficiency, and then docked something like one point two million dollars for the destruction of the, of the building. So it bankrupted XCOM, and I lost that game. <laughs> but you know what? Totally worth it. Totally worth it. If you can't, if you can't take a little, uh, a little collateral damage, you should not be in the alien fighting business. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm start making onion sandwiches because of Zork One. Oh, uh, somebody asked something. Let me, let me scroll up. I saw a question go by, but I was, I was in story mode. What are we doing next week? I need to plan on staying up late. Our Dominic and anyone else who's interested. On Monday, we are finally starting Thief Two, and I am so excited. I cannot wait. Thief 2 is one of my all-time favorite games. I had a great time playing through Thief 1, what, three years ago? <laughs> so long ago. We're finally doing Thief 2. Thief is... I'm going to play through the entire Thief series. All four of them. I know, I know some of you balk at the very concept, but um, I, am, I am eventually going to stream the entire Thief series. <clears throat> I can purge all the hammerites. Thief 2, Thief 2 is a very special game. Like, as special as Thief 1 was, Thief 2 improves on it in, like, every way and is is just an absolutely incredible game. Has the best villain. <laughs> He's pretty interesting, I'll give you that. But really, the issue here is... Um, Thief 1 and 2, I just, I want to run those back because I hadn't played those since I was in, like, college or something, even though they're, like, my favorite games. Um, Thief 3, I never finished, and apparently I got really, really close to the end. So, because it's not a very long game, so I absolutely want, want to finish Thief 3 for the first time in my life. And I want to know what happened, I want to know firsthand what happened with Thief 4. I know a lot of people have have cried and gnashed their teeth over it, but also some folks whose opinions I trust say it really wasn't that bad. So, we are gonna find out together. Someday, like a couple years ago, a, a couple years from now. Or maybe ago. Maybe maybe time is cyclical. Maybe we've already finished the Thief series. We just have to get back to that. E4 is fine, M's not here so I can say that. <laughs> just fine, yeah. Yeah, I wanna experience it for myself, I have it. I don't need to put any money down for it because I I think I bought the IDOS collection on Steam. It's just like every IDOS game ever made ever. Uh, and it was in there, so. I'm on team hating it in his guts, but it's like form your opinion for yourself. I think I will. Has some chopses and also choices. <laughs> yeah, I've never I've I've seen a little bit of the reboot. Uh, one of my friends showed me a little bit of it, and it seemed alright that part of it, but I don't, I don't know anything about the story or anything, uh, going into it, so. It'll, it'll be interesting, for sure, so. Yeah. Anyway, gang, anyway, gang, we have, we have this, this nice issue of Nintendo Power here, uh, that deserves a look-see at. Um, I don't know how, how, I don't know how far we'll get tonight. 
Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Depends on how much we enjoy all these. Because I think we're playing all of these games. I think I was watching. I was watching requests go by as I was ram. Oh yeah. I was watching requests go by as I was rambling at the beginning of the stream, and I think y'all have requested like everything at this point. So. Also, not to not not to put any any additional stress on y'all. Uh, please please sleep when you need to sleep. But uh, I have a question for y'all at the end of tonight's stream that's gonna determine what we do next week. Uh, I have an idea. I have a thing that I want to do. And I'm going to pull you on it at the end of the stream. Because it, it also kind of depends on how far we get into this issue. Um, so if you can make it tonight, uh, we have some important stuff to talk about. So. Anyway, Volume 28, September 1991. The, the Super Nintendo has arrived. Um, they are... Nintendo Power is tasked with hyping it up. But, but... There's a bunch of other stuff coming out. There's a bunch of other games. Star Wars, amazing great Star Wars, has finally arrived on the NES. The arcade hit Smash TV somehow got crammed into an NES cartridge and now is available for the home market. So what's that gotta be like? They made a game called Kickmaster. Come on! Also there's a new Final Fantasy branded thing on the Game Boy, so. And Marble Madness, which is <clears throat> I'm eventually moving to Morningstar for my new position, so I'll be able to make more streams. That's good. That is definitely good. Alright, uh, before we get to any of the video games, of course, um, we gotta check out the Player's Pulse, because uh, they, a, a couple issues ago, they had asked people for suggestions for future Player's Pulse contest prizes. Uh, some we'd already done, some were interesting and impossible, some were just plain weird. The ideas involving the American Gladiators, the most complete one was sent by Chris Porco of DeMitt, Michigan. See his idea at work on page 82. They actually took somebody's idea, uh, which was apparently to meet the American Gladiators. Lucky you. Um, but here's some other ideas that people had. Final Fantasy branded makes me think of cattle with insane colorful haircuts. <laughs> and uneven pant legs. Kickmaster is the name of my thrash metal jazz emo core fusion band things. NES games had a lot of, of like garage band worthy names. Scott Pilgrim was proof of, proof of that. Uh, I think the new grand prize should be lightweight suits of Zitz, Pimple, and Rash, along with the Battletoads games and Battletoads comic book. Uh, we passed your suggestion on to Trade West, Chance. It's like they, they get hopping out right away. Mario is still popular. I thought he might like a, the publicity, so I thought a good prize for players' poll would be a life-size raccoon Mario made of Legos. Not a bad idea if we can only figure out how big a life-size Mario would be. Two inches, maybe three. <laughs> uh, I would like the grand prize to be an actual life simulation of SimCity. The winner should become mayor of his own city and natural disaster should devastate it. We thought about doing this one, haven't been all that successful controlling natural disasters. Mayor for a day would be really disappointed if we missed and hit the wrong city. If you want a life-size suit of the Battletoads, would you wear it? Yes, definitely. Five-inch statue of Raccoon Mario made of Legos would be pretty, that would be great. And I guarantee you that would sell like gangbusters too. Conventions exist. Uh, in tradition with FCI's RPGs, oh, this'll, this will probably appeal to some, some of y'all in the peanut gallery. My grand prize suggestion is an adventure like none other for the winner and six friends. They will travel through a barren wasteland filled with the deepest bogs and swamps, some of the most wretched creatures imaginable, then explore the deepest dungeon of the world, traveling through disease-infested mazes, encountering patrol groups with the really nasty villain who they will face at the end for a grand finale. He'll possibly be either a powerful magic user, a huge barbarian, or demon from the astral plane of existence. Right, and we could bill it as the last contest you'll ever enter. Our goal is to thrill winners, not kill them. Weird that this writer predicted Dark Souls. <laughs> Odd, have you ever co cosplayed before? I have, actually. I have. Uh, when I heard about the Final Fantasy Treasure Hunt, I thought it was a great idea. How about a Final Fantasy II Treasure Hunt based on a great new sequel? This Make this one even better with more friends along with you and stuff like that. They didn't even bother responding to this one. I think they were so offended at the idea that they could do something better than the original. <laughs> Elaborate, lol. When I was in... 
high school, I guess? I was a big fan of Aruni Kenshin. And I wanted... We, we would go to... Uh, what the hell was it called? There was an anime convention in Durham, North Carolina? Raleigh, North Carolina? I think it was called Animazement. And my friends and I, we would go every year. And um, I wanted to try cosplaying. But I also... What's up, Toast? I also had, like, a, a, a big unkempt goatee at the time. Like, we're talking... I was... I was I've always been terrible with facial hair. Y'all that have been around for years remember the era of beard oddish. Uh, and that just out, out of control follicle outcropping. Um, but I was even worse when I was in school. I had, I seriously had like a fucking like anthrax goatee. Like it was, it was long. It was like, it was awful. It was the worst. Uh, and no, nobody, nobody in Rooney Kenshin has that, right? So I wanted, I wanted to do cosplay, but I didn't, there were there were no characters that had facial hair like that. So I got the bright idea to go as the big season two villain, Shishio, who's all like bandaged up. And it actually came out pretty good. I was like I, I was like bandaged to head to toe. I had I had like the blue robe. Uh, my girlfriend at the time dressed up as his girlfriend. It was pretty sweet. So yeah, that was that was the one time I've ever cosplayed. <laughs> You're a mummy in a dressing gown, yes. Extremely ac uh, accurate to the character. I didn't I didn't have the metal headband though. That was the one place where I skimmed. But fortunately, nobody tried to stab me in the forehead. <laughs> All right, what else? Uh. How about a Super NES for the grand prize in Player's Poll Contest? It isn't as expensive as a new Porsche, although $10 million is tempting. I think I'd still rather have a Super NES. Great idea, Barry. If you check out last month's contest, we see we already did that. Yeah. Um, this, I love this one. I have always loved this one. Use the latest genetic technology and insert the DNA of a raccoon into the winner's cells so they could be more like Mario. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from Koji Fox. I wonder if he had a vested interest in this concept. <laughs> we thought pretty hard about this one, but the scientists we consulted to told us the genetic replacement is a little bit iffy right now. The winner might get some Raccoon Mario super capabilities, or on the other hand, he might just end up with an irresistible urge to rummage through garbage can. Uh, you guys were great players full contest prize. How about this? The winner and friends play Maniac Mansion for real. One, of course, would be Sandy. You need to be rescued. You have to find a mansion somewhere that the group entered just as they do in the game. Nintendo Power staff could act out the parts of Weird Ed, Dead Cousin Ted, Nurse Edna, the Tentacles, and last but not least, Dr. Fred. Tell me for you, that's a furry Koji. <laughs> we liked this idea when it came down to choosing parts. We all wanted to be Dead Cousin Ted, except that is everyone for Editor-in-Chief Gil Tilden who refused to wear a costume. Of course, she wouldn't have to change her appearance in the least to play Nurse Edna. Wow, that dude got fired. I think you'd make a great contest based on the Rocketeer. The grand prize could be a real jetpack, like the one the Rocketeer uses to get around. It would be so cool to show up for school using the jetpack. Other prizes could be movie passes and comic books. I think you should use my idea, really. If the jetpack really worked, Shayna, we wouldn't give it away, we'd use it ourselves. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm out at the winners being happy at winning the contest and being dragged away by the medical orderlies. <laughs> Flown out to the fucking island of Dr. Moreau. <laughs> so these kids need to touch grass. A lack of touching grass has been an affliction for decades. Uh, ooh, how creative are you? We've seen Mario's made of Legos, Mega Man's made of clay, and even Bowser's made of paper mache. Creature and Nintendo characters are scenes from Nintendo games and from 3D media. Take a picture of your masterpiece, send it in, we'll print the best photos. I always like these. I always like when they would print uh, when they would print uh, art projects that people did. Last issue or, or um, the one before that, they showed all the envelope art that kids did, and that was really cool too. The jetpack where you'd probably just smash it in the ground and die, then explode. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. 
Hey, look, it's uh, it's another one of those um, it's one one of the Mario games, right? For the Italian little guy gets hopped up on mushrooms and like jumps on shit. I don't know. Uh, they broke down the previous Mario games, Mario One, Two, and Three, and Land. Um, talk about Mario's new capabilities here, Yoshi, and even the different colors of Yoshi's. The winner won because their idea was fucking reasonable, huh? Yeah, funny how that works, isn't it? Strange that they went with the actual possible concept. Mario, that'll never catch on if you're a Bubsy. Was there no Land 2? No, Land 2 is a ways down. Uh, we're not going to get to Land 2 for a while. <clears throat> that was that was actually a ways in. Uh, they got, got a breakdown of all Koopa's creatures. The advent of Wiggler. Good old Wiggler. Um, Argent Chucks, the Rexes. Yep, that's right there. And you should win things watching the stream. I say Mario got some samurai steel and gave Bowser a slice. I was always very captivated by the, the the world map in Super Mario World. I thought I always thought it looked really really cool, um, and I liked that it was one big world instead of like the individual worlds of Mario Three. Yeah, world map, neat. Koji Fox's idea actually happened, but it was kept hush hush to prevent lawsuits. Uh, and then they do a breakdown. They don't do any they don't do any level maps, but they give you some some basic tips uh, for some of these levels. They also show the completed map. So this was pretty handy as a kid if you were trying to get 96 exits, that they actually showed you stuff like the top secret area and like the star road entrances. Um, and they did explain how, how to get to some of them. Like they explained how to get to star road uh, from the donut secret house and how to get to the top secret area. So that was pretty cool of them, I guess. Um, I think until this, I didn't even realize there was an upper bridge. Um, like, I saw stuff up there, but I was like, I have no idea how to get to that. <clears throat> I didn't realize there would be another bridge. Um, I was like, when Nintendo made the clay models of world maps, like, oh yeah, they didn't do a whole lot of that, but yeah, the Zelda 1 clay map looks incredible. It's super cool. Remember someone showing off an embroidery of the world map in Mario World one of the later issues in Nintendo Power looks actually really nice? Oh, I'm looking forward to getting, getting to that because I don't remember that at all. Um, mm, yeah, Forest of Illusion, Chocolate Island. Forest of Illusion confused me quite a bit when I was a kid. Valley Bowser. Wow, they map out they map out Star Road and they spoil the special war uh, the special world too. So they really did go through everything in this, even even without the level map. Uh, and then special strategies. Let's see. Hey, try playing the game without hanging the Switch Palace. Uh, na -na 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 -na. They break down the different colors of Koopa shells and uh, what they do to Yoshi. They tell you about the bonus game, but not the trick to beating it. Uh, and then they mention some rare stuff like power balloons and great P Switch. Oh, pretty cool. Seen GDQ have a prize is a wood fire etch thingy, the Legend of Zelda 1 map, and it looks fucking incredible. Oh, um, that, the wood etching video game stuff, that is somebody on Etsy or something? I've seen a bunch of their work, and it's all really, really good, but you can, uh, you can contact them for requests. They're, they're pricey, naturally, but... I'm sure it's worth it. That. Uh, oh no, excellent air guitar tryouts. Oh god, I, I think it's a next Nestor's adventure about Bill and Ted. Uh, uh, so there's a, there's a tryout for Wild Stallions and Nestor fucks with everybody and paints tomorrow on the sign. So he can, he can get in and then everybody gets pissed at him. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Nestor and Lincoln Park. <laughs> Who is the adult with black hair? That's that's Superman. Y you know, you know. Uh, uh, fair, fair, fair use 
legally distinct Superman uh, with no relation to any other well-known superhero. All right. Oh my God, it's Star Wars. All right, Zorro, man. Long time ago, guys, you, you know this, you know this. Um, Now the popular Star Wars series is finally being made into an NES game series with direction from Lu Lucasfilm Games. Uh, JVC and programmers Beam have come with an NES adventure that follows the first movie in the Star Wars trilogy almost scene for scene. Almost. Almost. Neatest Nintendo craft I ever saw was a little glass bottle with the Deku princess inside. That sounds cool. Long time ago to theater, they probably went under. I... This is just really funny. I don't know why this is, but they have this, the star-studded cast here, and they have cast photos of everybody except Obi Wan. They use his cutscene face here. <laughs> Almost scene for scene, but forgot John Vader being a fucking scorpion twice. Now, don't forget, this is this is distinct from the Namco Star Wars that we played last. We we did play a little bit of this one, and oh god, this one crashed, didn't it? I may, I may actually end up having to play like the Japanese release of this one uh, if, if that makes a difference. Alec Guinness would come around and mess him up if they use this picture. Yeah, this is completely different from Namco Star Wars, and also really kind of nothing like uh, the movie either. One of my goals this year is make Yoshi Amaguri and all the Yoshi. Got that sounds really cool, Ojo High. I would love to see that. So here's a map of Tatooine. Like, if you'll recall, uh, we played a little bit of this last time. Uh, you start out in the laser cave. Um, a very blue cave full of spikes and goop that you jump across to get uh, a blaster power up. And then it poops you back out in the desert and you fly around and uh, you have to find stuff. So there's eight locations of interest here. Sandcrawler, Tusken Cave, Rockhound's Lair, Crawler Cavern, Raider's Camp, Kenobi's Cave, and Moss Isley. Kenobi has a cave. Did you know that? Um, we are looking for shields for the Millennium Falcon. So this is... It, it's, it's, kind, it's kind of... Maybe this was the first open world Star Wars game. Um, because your ultimate goal is to get to Moss Isley and take off the Millennium Falcon. But uh, the more shields you have for the Millennium Falcon, the more likely you're to survive uh, the space shooting segment after you get off the planet. It's <laughs> on. Uh, and they actually bothered to map all this shit out here. Laser Cave is very simple. Um, the sand crawler is pretty big, and they did bother to like map out uh, a path for you. So we need to we need to rescue R two D two. Um, So R2-D2 does some important things. I, you need him on the Death Star, and he can repair your ship shields when you're flying around in X-Wing. Can you retcon and insert you and McGregor as Obi-Wan? <laughs> no sacrifice. Dude, that, there's no need for that. There, there's simply no need for that. I, I would like it if they would retcon and insert an actual actor for uh, Luke in Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett. That would be nice. Instead of that CG monstrosity we got. Um, okay. Here's one for you. Here's here's an interesting uh, Star Wars factoid. Sand people and friends. Sand people release energy from their bodies. Tusken Raiders attack fiercely if you get close. In NES Star Wars, sand people and Tusken Raiders are two different things. <laughs> If Jar Jar playing Luke, yeah, they just they, they just stuck a Mark Hamill mask on over his face. Something just incredibly unnerving, morally speaking. It's just like I'm I'm impressed by the technology, but I'm not impressed by the performance. And I think that's that's what bothers me about it. Like if if they could use that technology to get a really good performance, like a really engaging performance, fine, great. Do 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 your computer corpse puppetry. Um, but I like. I actually didn't didn't mind the way it was used in Rogue One, 
I thought I thought what they did with Tarkin and uh, I thought what they did with Tarkin was cool. Leia was okay. Um but yeah, the what, what they what they've done with Luke for Mandalorian and Boba Fett, I I don't like that. So. Better or worse than Leia and Rogue One? Def definitely worse. Definitely worse. The one in the one in Mando is terrible. Uh the one in Book of Boba Fett is a lot better. Uh, looks a lot better, but the performance is a lot worse. So they could have made us some random dudes. Here. I'm I'm one of the people. I think I think they should hand over the young Luke role to Sebastian Stan. I think that would be. I think he'd be absolutely fantastic. He looks the part. He's a great actor. He's a nice guy. Like just just go with that. God, imagine, oh, oh, oh God, I just got chills. Imagine if they had this this technology back when the prequels were made. What if, what if instead of Ewan McGregor, we had gotten like, like CG corpse of Alex Guinness running around for three episodes. It's, that would have been fucking awful. And I bet Lucas would have done it too. Ugh. Halligan is a no. <laughs> I think, I think his ghost would have risen from the grave to like haunt Lucas to death, and it would have been entirely justified. But yeah, Blah. but yeah, I wish, I wish, I, I wish they would let go of this like bizarre reverence they have for Mark Hamill. Like, yeah, Mark Hamill's great. Mark Hamill's the best. But like, just recast, just recast. Let people perform the parts. Quit doing this, like, CG weird bullshit. Ewan is already channeling Alec Guinness. Ewan did a great job. Like, I, I love Obi-Wan in the prequels. He is fantastic. And he is, like... <laughs> they kind of ramped that up and made him, like, sassy as fuck in the Clone Wars, and I kind of love it. You get, man... They already made a movie that was like, let the old stuff go, and people resoundingly said no. Yeah, tell me about it. <sighs> Ewan is the best bit of the prequels alongside Palpatine. And one of three pre prequel defenders. If they recast and all the people want everything to never change the Star Wars will throw a fit. Well, fuck those people! They're the people that are ruining Star Wars anyway. God. Ugh! <laughs> I can't... I can't stand fandoms that just want everything to stay the same forever. It's so tedious and it's so boring. Like, oh my god. Like, you, your fandom grew into existence because whatever it is that you love took chances and did something different from everything else that existed then. And now you're trying to strangle it to death by not letting it do what made it successful. Like, how fucking stupid are you? <clears throat> yeah, that's the thing. We don't we don't get to make these decisions about the shows. Those people who work their way up the 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 entertainment ladder to become producers and whatnot on those on on these properties, they get to make those decisions. So we're stuck here forever. Anyway, you go to Moss Isley, and then they just kind of break down by bullet point what the rest of the game is. Uh, you fight your way to the Falcon. You go to Al uh, Alderaan, and I guess you have to fly through an asteroid field. Land on the Death Star. Uh, power down the track. It looks like the, the tractor beam is like a boss fight. It looks like you shoot it. Save the princess. Escape the Death Star, which is apparently full of like Ninja Gaiden spikes at this point. Blow up some TIE fighters. Assault the Death Star. And then do the trench run. So we're not going to see any of that, because the game's really fucking hard. Part why I like Kodor 1 and 2 is because it dodges Star Skywalker stuff and creates its own universe, basically. And more Star Wars stuff needs to... I, I, I wanted to believe so badly after Mandalorian Season 1 that they'd actually learned something from that. They they had created something new in the Star Wars universe. Like, the, the Mandalorian and, and this whole deal. And I thought, oh yes, they get it. They finally get it. They've made something new and unique 
that's like universally loved and now they'll do more of this. And then Mandalorian season two is like, hey, remember all this bullshit from the movies that you thought we had moved fast? So. <laughs> Ain't no Kit Fisto in this game, zero out of 10. They're doing something new. They're making a horrible Frankenstein's monster of CGI. Um, Shmup gameplay, someone requests this game, right? This did get played Thursday. We're gonna play it again right now, though. We are, in fact, going to play it again right now. Because I want to I wanna actually try getting somewhere in this game. I see a miniseries based around some form of villain that isn't just he he I'm an evil samurai space wizard Nazi. I would like to see more stuff like Mandalorian that's not entirely focused on fucking Jedi. Like, Jedi are an incredibly interesting background element in the Star Wars universe, but like, not... I'm kind of tired of them being center stage for fucking ever. I don't know what it, what made the old extended universe so interesting is because it didn't move past everything. It didn't randomly orbit the old story constantly. It was still pretty obsessed with the, with the original characters, though. Like, they did make new characters, but those tended to be, like, support characters for Luke and Han and Leia and everything. And it did, like, I, I eventually lost interest in the Extended Universe stuff because it was just, like, they had gone on so many adventures, it was, like, like, their, their, it was like their characters had been used too much. Like, Luke had done everything in existence ever possible. Alright, I think I remember the map. I think I know where we're going. Also, I don't know what the hell this music's supposed to be. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in Nintendo Power Order. We're, we're gonna go to the Sandcrawler and we're gonna hope for the best. The Dark Souls Star Wars at work for 20 bucks. I think I'll snag it. Y'all corrupted me. I have that. And I, I really want to play it, but Lego, Lego Star Wars kind of distracted me. I may start it. Oh, God. I didn't mean to fucking leave game. Uh, I may start it after I finish uh, Skywalker Saga. Oh, my God. That jaw was out for blood, dude. Holy, what the fuck? Oh my god! What? Is there- is there fall damage in that? Is- is there fall damage? You got- you can't be serious. How do you make this jump? Oh! Oh, you can run in this game. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> Some rowdy Jawas? Yeah, tell me about it. Oh my god! Holy shit, dude! Oh my god, there is fall damage in this. This is the worst. This is the absolute worst thing imaginable. Some Jawa is gonna be like, God, just give him the power converters. <laughs> I think I almost just... I was gonna say, I think I almost just died by falling down there. Do I have lives? If I don't have lives, that's that's good. I don't remember seeing like a one-up power-up in the Nintendo Power coverage, so. Jawas are drunk as fuck. You don't anymore. <laughs> you do have limited lives? Okay, that sucks. That sucks and is very bad news. Jesus Christ! Okay, so that's healing. We have discovered healing. 
Oh my god, you can't get up this way? Dude! Okay, well, fortunately I left instead of dying. That's safe for the movie where Luke explodes when he dies. Oh my god, contact damage does so much. Like, getting shot by that Jawa did, like, two or three. Touching that Jawa? Oh, oh no, everything does a million damage. Never mind. Final percent completion. Three. Continue? You get ten continues? Holy shit, no. Game over. The rare poisonous Jawa. Seems a little a little janky. <laughs> That's being generous. All right, we're we're gonna we're gonna try a different we're gonna try a different tactic here. We're gonna go we're gonna go to a different place since this is ah since this is this is of course the first uh, open world Star Wars game. I'm gonna go to a different cave instead of sand crawl. Upper right corner is your lives. Oh, the Luke heads. Okay, I gotcha. We're gonna go down here. I think there's. I think I remember there being a cave. Yeah, cave. Sweet. All right, this one's purple. It kind of reminds me of Wizards and Warriors. Oof. Oof, manic. Oof. I think we all felt that one. So this is just the rock cave. Oh, no, wait, there's slime too. Okay, cool. Good good to see they're they're mixing things up a bit. Ugh. Oh my god, you have to run this. Okay. Alright, did we make it? Are we there? Oh god, oh god, there's a oh there's a squidgy thing. Okay, I can shoot it. You just can't crush it. What the fuck is this? Is this a leap of fa is this a literal leap of faith? Ugh, it is. Have slightly ice-like physics? Kind of. Your character gets momentum, and when you let off this when you let off the button, uh, it takes them a uh, it takes them a second to stop moving. Face bugs. Oh my god, it's a sand person! Oh my fucking Jesus. Sand person mur oh my god. Sand Terminator. That was a fucking predator. <laughs> I was just sand murdered. The Nintendo literally couldn't handle two of those rocks being on the screen at the same time. Ah. Ha! Uh, uh. Ha! Okay, he's gonna be the squidgy guy, right? Oh no, he's up here. There we go, okay. Squidgy guy's no more. Leap of faith. Hoi! Uh, Hoi! And then bug. Eats part of her face. That happens. Then we go down here. We jump over here. And then fucking sand person. Okay, okay. Sand person has been terminated. Sand person is no more. Of course, everything is spikes. Why wouldn't it be? So there's more healing and the exit. What was the point of any of this? Ah! Gee! What the fuck? No! No! 
No, I don't want it. No! Tuscans are scary. Ah! <laughs> what in the hell, man? You're so bad at skywalking. Why is this game evil? Why is this game pure evil? Yeah, path is gonna be a dead end. There has to be a reason we're coming in here. Like, isn't it, aren't there like Millennium Falcon shields or something in here? There has to be a point. I'm sorry, there does. There, there just does. Yeah, most cave most caves have a shield. I know one of one of the caves has two. Oh fuck. Oh I fucked it. Okay. Doesn't seem like the sort of thing this game would do to uh to have this be pointless. I just I just remember from Nintendo Power, they all have oh well that's no good. That was that was fall damage and that was everything going wrong at once. Fall damage onto spikes, basically. Alright, there's the exit. One of the games of Obi-Wan and your lightsaber, it's not this one. That one I think we're still a ways away from. Okay, if I mash this shit out of the button. God damn. Sounds like a platformer where a lightsaber would be worse than a gun. If it like Ah yes, okay. Okay, we got we got Millennium Falcon Shield. All right, that's why. That's why we came in here. That was the point of this. And we got two. Because that was a nightmare. All right, oh God. All right, let's... I still don't want to do... I still don't want to do the sand crawler. So let's kind of just skirt past the sand crawler. We might need to do the sand crawler to get Obi-Wan. Because we got to take... We gotta take our- Ah, oh, we gotta do the sand crawler, don't we? I think maybe we can do like one or two more caves first. No, I think we better go. Shit. Yeah, I gotta find R2 before we go find Obi-Wan. Reminds me a bit of who killed Roger Rabbit. I will say this is- this is infinitely more playable than that at least. That game, that game was a mess on so many levels. Are there any cheat codes? Can you use a game genie? Um, I suppose I could, but. If I have to, it, it, like, if I have to do that, I kind of don't feel like it's worth it. Pretty sure you can get to Obi-Wan's cave before the sand crawler. You can theoretically go to Mos Eisley first. I'm just assuming that if we show up at Obi-Wan's cave without R2, he's not going to do anything. Like, he's not going to come with us. He's going to be like, why the fuck are you here, kid? Leave. Little weirdo. Okay, well, I made that jump this time. I think there's something up there, maybe? Alright, well that's hell. Uh, but I guess I gotta go around for it? Jesus fuck! Okay. Okay. Okay, you don't- you don't get any... You don't get any iframes in this game. <laughs> if I hadn't jumped, I would've been okay.
Team leader loot. Wait, can you? Not my fault, sir. Please don't deactivate me. I, for for the briefest second, I thought maybe we could be we could play a C three PO and just die instantly. Luke exploding is the funniest death ever. You got up to the asteroid belt. Conveyor belts have the most insane momentum. They really do. I mean, so much about this just makes no sense. Like the the, the levitational walls, the the smashers that like severely harm you if you uh, if you even touch the side of them. These gears keep freaking me out because they look exactly like the gears in. Uh, in Sunsoft Batman, and I keep thinking they're gonna hurt me. Is this, wait, where the hell am I? Oh, well I found some healing, that's good. These are out of sequence though, that's bad. Ow, I touched the side and lost like a quarter of my life. This goes, where does this go? Holy shit, I found extra life. And then, oh my god! Some kind of murder droid! Oh god. Oh god. Wait, can I destroy these? They make damage noises. Probably not. I wish I would saved that healing. Okay, so this is a dead end. That was essentially pointless. Super Star Wars is on the Super Nintendo. I have... I, I have streamed that before. That was the first... Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, where am I supposed to go? I can't... There's nowhere to go now. Well, shit. The ladder doesn't go anywhere. Oh, well, I found more healing. That's nice. I think we just need to go back around. It seems like there's exactly one path through here, and you it's up to you to figure it out. And if you don't, you can just eat shit. God damn it! Why are there no iframes in this game? What's up, Ms. Roy? How you doing? I've been better. So if I'm wrong, and if you actually can get to Obi-Wan, Without R2-D2? What happens, like, when you get to the Death Star? Oh, by the way, uh, I'm going to reset the death counter on uh, Monday so that we can use it to keep track of uh, Thief 2 deaths. Because I think y'all probably have a pretty good time doing that. And I'm sure, it, oh no, 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 this doesn't work. There we go, that's what we need. We need to get up here. <laughs> oh my god, I, do I dodged that one. Unbelievable. We have a few days to read. No, you have tonight, because we're starting Thief 2 on Monday, and I'm not streaming tomorrow night, so. No, if I had, no, if I hadn't jumped, I would have been fine. Well, for certain values of fine. 
Okay, so I'm up above where I was. What? <gasps> I did it! Sir, R2D2 here says that he is the property of a General Kenobi. Right, Easter is tomorrow. Yeah, it's also Sunday. I don't stream on Sundays. found it. All right, it's green. Rock fox. Fox on rocks. Rocks on fox. Rocks off fox. <laughs> Sub two hit. Good to see you. So there are levels in this that are just descending through caves because there's fall damage. Maybe that's the reason there is fall damage. They wanted to make levels where you descend through caves, but they couldn't figure out how to do that without making you explode when you, oh my God, are you for real? Of course you're for real. Well, I did it. All right, we got more more shields for the shield gods. Ah! Who put giant, like, battleship cannons out here? The Banthas are understandable. Okay, here's a big-ass cave. Ew, oh, God. I found the fire blue cave. R2 has flight thrusters. Couldn't figure out how to make enemies you could shoot properly either. God, this is this is making me fuck. This is making me dearly miss Super Star Wars, and that game is pretty weird and janky and hard too. But definitely not on this level. <laughs> uh there's a tiny bit of healing. I don't need. R2-D2 can get you maps of the Death Star? Okay, that's cool. So he's not actually mission critical for beating the game. Which is an interesting choice. I will, I will give them a little bit of credit for that. So this is the shitty bug cave. R2-D2 can get you high, sucker! Ugh. Okay. I have no idea what the point of that was. Huh. 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 These jumps suck. <gasps> Toby Wan! Wow, that's a pretty decent looking Alec Guinness. I have something here for you. Your father wanted you to have this when you were old enough. No, he didn't. My father was a piece of shit. He took that from his charred corpse. It's your father's light saber. Sir R2D2 here says that he is the property of a General Kenobi. Don't seem to remember ever owning a droid. Do you fucking liar? You and R2 hung out all the time. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. You must learn the ways of the forest if you're to come with me to Alderaan. I can't go to Alderaan! I have chores! Alright, uh... There's more caves? Do we... Cave? Do you wanna go to a cave? Hey, Obi-Wan, you wanna go to the cave? I know there's more caves. Don't hold out on me, game. Give me the cave. There's a cave. Sorry for the flashing Leia was at a rave when she recorded that. Oh god, we're gonna die. Death is fucking certain. Ah!
<laughs> they literally do all of your life. All of it in one hit. They program them to do all of your life in one hit. I mean, I guess, I guess movie accurate. We're just supposed to have a lightsaber now. Oh my god. Nah! I'm sure this will end exceptionally well. Two hits takes one down. But of course if you if you fuck up you you die. Okay. Okay. I have learned the ways of the force. <laughs> like my father before me. Yeah, two hit, good. <laughs> This seems to be working. Hang on, let's, let's check down here, because I saw a guy. And another guy. Ah, there's a shield. Those wily Tuscan raiders guarding the shields to the Millennium Falcon. Attention, dude, Ryan full pelt into Luke desperately flailing a lightsaber going, ah! It's just like the films. Oh, this is, okay. This, this, this is fine. You can go back to a more uncivilized weapon for a more uncivilized age. There we go. A father like son, you gotta murder all these sand people. All right, there may be one more cave, or we may be Moss Eisleying it. Well, that's no good. We got, we got any more? Are we good? Oh, I think maybe one more cave? Yeah, I definitely haven't been to a green cave yet. One of the tricks if you find a cave you're good at, you can keep going through it to make sure you get max shields. Ugh. I can't tell if the crouching attack animation is any different than the standing one. <laughs> you kind of short for a Jedi. Alright, well there's a shield. Shields are good. Check out Bioforce Ape. I believe that entry in the last magazine was the only info we ever got about the game considering it was unreleased. No, I haven't really had the chance to do any like research or anything. But yeah, I, I should I should look into that. Moss Eisley or Moe's Eisley? I think it depends on who's saying it. Jesus Christ, you little piece of shit. All right, new plan. Grab this, jump over, leave. All right, let's do this. All right, the real Star Wars begins here. Kind of slaps, it kind of does. Oh my god, look at him! 
What the fuck is that? I can't touch it. I can't touch it, it kills me. Gotta love that jizz. Oh my god, these things take like- Oh my god! Do you ever die? I don't think it does. I think we just gotta go. This kinda rules? Like, I kinda love it? Oh god. Oh god, no! I jumped on it. I jumped on the laser beam and then I touched him. Alright, we, we made it 14% into this game. We still got nine continues, we're fine. Loop Murder Greedo to attack the remix of the Cantina theme. <laughs> yes. Yes, he did. Turns out Luke shot first. Haha! -ha! This went from a zero to a hundred thousand instantly. This is kinda great. Shit! Okay. Alright, we're, we're still- we're still in it. We're still- we're still- we're, we're doing good. Doing fine. Is that a hand Solo I see? I think it is. Pretty good pixel rendition of hand Solo. As for your judgment here, which is better, this Star Wars NES game or the Japanese- This one by- by a mile. I- like, now that I've gotten a kind of a grip on this and I know what to expect, this one's- this one's- uh, it's alright. My God. Why does Han have Leia's theme? Who cares? Han's gonna fucking vaporize everybody. Except maybe this guy who I guess is Im immortal. Laser's so powerful it kills the music. Oh fuck, stormtroopers! Oh fuck, Jawas! Oh fuck, flying They fly now? Lol. Oh shit! Luke's- Luke's Moss Isley- Oh, I guess Han's dead forever now. That sucks. Alright. My new technique is unstoppable. Time Paradox. So Obi-Wan revives dead characters, huh? That was out for blood! The threads of fate have been severed. Isn't it Hangar 70... Is it Hangar 76 that the Falcons docked in? I think we got a ways to go. Fortunately. Fucking murder Jawas, Jesus! How do you even get to that hangar? Oh, ow, oh god. He, he touched me with his boot and I died. This is painful. 94. 94, okay. Okay, so we got a long way to go. Reminds me of the second level of Cave Story. Oh my god, man. The numbered eggs. Oh yeah! Yeah, I remember that. So the, the, the lightsaber actually does block shots, which is pretty cool. If your timing is good with it, which mine obviously isn't. Just mashing the shit out of it. What the f- what- what? What hit me? Okay, so that's where we're going. 
I'm sorry. Oh, you I have to get up I have to get up on hangar 99. Oh man. Motherfucker. Oh my god. Very good. Quit dying so fast. We've had this problem before, chat. This isn't anything new. Y'all should be used to it by now. The cooldown... Yeah, the cooldown was not designed for NES games. I might, I might need to lower it for Thief 2 as well. That's gonna, that's gonna, be, an, that's gonna be an odyssey of uh, quick saving, quick loading. Okay, there's 94. That's where we want to be. Yeah. Okay, 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 I can do this. Oh, I did it. Holy shit. Oh my god, I did it! Wait, what? ships you dock here what the fuck oh thank you thank you god for stop starting stop da, da, da. here for here for here i'm so excited i'm incoherent Ooh, cool ship to fuck fucking stormtroopers okay i gotta i gotta wonder i gotta wonder i gotta wonder would this actually be better? Okay. Very good. This would probably be a lot easier with Han. The death counter is for every game. Um, it started for Bloodborne. It started for Bloodborne and then I just didn't turn it off and now people just use it for everything. I'm gonna reset it for Thief 2 next week. Um, but I'm sure people are still gonna use it for everything. Oh no, come on man. Oh god! Well, that was awful. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Please be 69. Worth it. Actually hates you. This, this this game this game is some serious cruelty. Oh fuck! I wonder if I I bet I need to get that shield again too. You see how Super Star Wars sprang from the it, yeah. 
There's there's actually a fair bit of similarity between the two. How many shields do we have? We'll be fine. I need to actually get out of this level. Know your secrets! I know your secrets! Thank you, God! Ah. Wait, 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 it's not- okay. Whoa, it's not flying controls. Oh, this is fucking weird. I hate it. What? What are you talking about? Oh, oh, oh shit, 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 fuck. I don't know where we're going either. No! No, 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 no. There's no instrumentation. I don't know where we're going. Oh my god, I think I did it. Unless this is stage two. Oh my god, I think I did it. Barely. Started. You beat the asteroid tutorial. Ah! Why am I not dressed like a stormtrooper? There was no fighting until we got to the detention block. That's a sad looking TIE fighter. These people even see the movie. Ah, okay. They have an assault shuttle, so. Oh god! Oh guys, any web. Alright, you know what? Fuck off. Oh god, he does too! Shit. Oh boy, okay. I didn't, I didn't even see that in the background. Star Wars is any energetic NES techno feels kind of surreal. It is kind of weird, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh shit, oh shit, uh... I'm not even, what do you even want me to, okay, you want me to do that, okay. All right, this is... Fucking, yeah, there we go. Is this, is this where I wanna use R2? I guess we just go places. You need to use them in specific places, all right. Shit. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm assuming we're going up. That's up, all right. Like our Luke looks like a kid, like maybe he's 10 years old or something. I think it's the cartoonish proportions. His big tweety like head.
Maybe. Oh my god. Okay, shot me in the feet. And that guy's shooting rockets at me. What the fuck is this shit? Alright, here we go. Found the computer outlet, sir. Scompling. R2D2 should be able to interpret the entire Imperial computer network. Princess Leia, I'm afraid she's scheduled to be terminated. It's, it's, it's a mouse droid, is what it is. It's a mouse droid, and I stepped on it. Oh my god, he has fucking lasers! Alright, fuck it. I'm, oh, you can actually go over here. Oh, okay. So even the mouse droids are out for blood. Alright, so like, can... Now that we've been there... Can you help me? Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Um... I guess the pink doors are the interesting ones, so we want to get up to the top. I guess we want to get up to the top right. The ability to look to die in any climactic mid set piece gives some great dark humor to Star Wars. I think we're actually kind of. Oh shit! Yeah, it doesn't. Oh no, Leia's, Leia's schedule will be terminated because wrecked by mouse droids. I don't think there's another Lego game, or I don't think there's another Star Wars game in existence where you can be murdered by mouse droids. I, I, I think that's a series first. So, you know, we're just getting out of here. Okay. Alright, I found hell. Okay, we want to get, we want to get down for, what is this? What is this? That, okay. All right, let me figure out where the hell we are. Okay, so we're like midway up. Okay, I, I think I, I think I see it. I think I see it. We, we may be able to pull this off. That's where we want to go. All right, so we need to hook across here. Shit. Okay. Go through there. Okay, this should be it. We did it! What, 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 what? What, what is, what? Okay, I think I see it. I think the blue things in the background are ladders. Ow. That's it. You got you gotta shoot the thingy. Okay, this sucks. Th this sucks. This is awful. This is a classic scene from the movie.
All right, hang on. We gotta. We we got we gotta do something here. I need I need Han Solo back because of how I plan on doing this. Oh, that wasn't so bad. I wonder how long that would have taken his Luke. Where the hell are we now? Oh, are you fucking kidding me, man? Oh my god, okay, sure. Okay, so, wait, 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 we gotta, okay. So we're on the detention block. So now we gotta find, wait, how am I so, oh my god, I gotta check all these doors, don't I? I mean, it's gonna be the one in the bottom corner, right? It's gotta be the one in the bottom right corner. Cause that one's the most complicated to get to. Yeah, the price we pay for Han is the sound. I mean... Oh, this sucks. Uh, okay. Now that you have to check all these doors, you have to go to the bottom to get to the top to get to the bottom corner. Yeah. So like, hang on. Okay, actually this isn't too bad. I, I, I think I got it actually. I think I got it. I'm actually, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna switch the loot. We're trying to rescue Princess Leia. We're on the detention block. And we're trying, we're trying to find Leia. I don't know what the fuck that was. These jumps are heinous, man. Okay, so we are... There, okay, so we wanna go down that, down that. Okay, so we go down the next one and then we go all the way. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I, I've got this, I've got this. I, ha I have a plan, okay. Okay, so we go down that, and then we go to, okay. All right. Okay, so we go down, we go down here. And then we go down here. Ow. Okay, so we're at the, we're at the three doors. Okay, we're at the three doors. So we go, we go up one, we go through the door on the right, and then we go on the, through the next door on the right, and then we run across and jump, and we should be there. I think. I don't know what the hell that is. I 
I got it. I got it. I don't know where we are now, but I got it. The fuck is this? You missed Leia? Wait, what? This, wait, this isn't where Leia is? Well, it's too late now. I thought the whole point of this is that we were looking for Leia. This is some funky fucking physics. She's in one of those purple doors. I mean, I have no idea how I'm supposed to know that. Because all the, all, like, all the purple doors that I saw, you couldn't go in. And so I went through the one open door. In the immortal world, words of Han Solo. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. So for whatever reason, being on conveyor belts makes you jump like 16 times higher than normal. Like you just, oh, oh, oh good. Oh good, that was really, that was really neat. How horribly does this game let you wreck Star Wars canon because I support this? I mean, will it will it actually let us beat the game without saving Princess Leia? That's pretty funny fuck pretty fucking funny if it does. You don't need to find R2 or Obi-Wan or Leia. Okay. Ah. Uh, it's a gonk! I bet that gonk would fuck us up. Uh. I don't know how much more of this I could take. These these levels were designed by an absolute sadist. Think you've given it more than a fair shake? Yep. It's one of those games that's, it's, like, you start playing and you're like, oh my god, this is so fucked up, and then you, you kind of get a grip on how the fucked up part works, and you're like, okay, okay, maybe I can find some fun in this. And then, like, the next area is even more fucked up. You know? Like, it's just, it's just this constant progression of things just getting more and more inexplicably fucked up. Alright. What an incredible smell you've discovered. Who are you telling, saying that to, Han Solo? Oh my god, it's... Oh, oh, okay. What? What? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, we're gonna do- we're gonna do one more continue, because I just- I gotta know what the fuck is going on here. I think it's a boss battle? Where you have to get... You, like... And if- if, if you fall in the spooge, I think you just die?
Yeah, this is definitely the Dianaga, but like... All right, I'm I'm satisfied with 40%. For 40% is as far as we get. I actually had that happen a bit ago with a game I played through Creature in the Well. Pinball, I played that, I really like that game. Once you launch the ball, the angles it goes at, when it, uh, when it hits is it bounces around, can be completely random. The game hits you over the head with repeated alongside areas and boss that are near impossible with the right equipment. I, I like that game so much. I got to the very end of it, but I don't think I ever beat the final boss. I never actually beat the titular creature in the well, unfortunately. But I, I, I did really enjoy that game, uh, up to that point at least. So. I had completely forgotten about that, too. The Dianog is basically why I have the saber. Oh, uh, okay. There's a charm of these Star Wars games for any uh, actual lore got established. Sand people are different. Tusken Raiders, Darth Vader's a scorpion. It is like, it, yeah, there's definitely a charm to it. Just like these weird, inexplicable interpretations of Star Wars, especially looking back on it now. I, it's just, I wish they were a bit more comprehensible. I, I wish they were a bit more manageable. Midsection of the game when the difficulty just ramped off the charts, killed it for you. Yeah, you would not you would not have liked the end game sequence then. You would not have liked the boss. So, we've we've talked a little bit about this. But yes. Yes, they ported Smash TV onto the NES. And yes, you can use two controllers. Oh, you did beat, oh, okay, you did beat the game, but you didn't like the boss. Yeah, that's, yeah. I am not surprised. Sorry, I, I, I misinterpreted it. I thought you said you punched out of it. I do, I do. I was, I was late to the stream because I was digging my second controller out of uh, the box I left it in because I couldn't remember where the fuck it was. It is indeed two controller time. Hmm. Oh, hang on, let me, uh, let me mark Star Wars off the list. Since we have done did it. Um... Okay. There we go. Imagine playing those two NES Maxes. Yeah. I'm sure somebody did. Dance Pad and Rob. Rob and Power Glove. That'd be extra bad. Two Power Gloves! Oh my god! Two Power Gloves? And you have to like, you have to like push the controllers on. <laughs> I want to see somebody with two power gloves. I guess they only made right-handed power gloves, huh? So you'd have to, you'd, you'd have to mod one to be left-handed. And then like, yeah, like. <laughs> While playing Edward 40 hands. <laughs> And with an NES satellite or NES 4 score, two players can play with two controllers each. So, um... Yeah, that's it. There's there's three circuits. Uh, you fight Mutoid Man at the end of the first one. You fight, fight Scarface at the end of this one. You fight the Cobras at the end of the third one. And then I guess you fight the announcer if you get the... I don't know. Let's fucking play it. Let's try it. This ought to be an experience. Two-player twin stick action on the NES is a rad idea. It is, isn't it? It is, isn't it? I will. I will definitely give them give them credit for that. Um, I will also say the controls on the Super NES port of Smash TV make a whole lot more sense. <laughs> but of course, they had four face buttons to work with. So. Of course, it would. And actually, I I don't think you can. See can y'all see this? How, how well can you see the AVS here? Oh yeah, you can't see the AVS. Um, so I have my two controllers plugged in here. The AVS actually has four controller ports plugged in. So if I had two more NES controllers and someone in my family who actually wanted to embark upon this ridiculous adventure with me, uh, we could do we could do two player four controllers. Oh, 
Oh, you never saw the end of Smashing? Yes. So, um, they show it. I've never done it myself, but they show it in the uh, SNES coverage for the game. Um, but when you get to... After you beat the Cobras in Circuit 3, they give you a new location to get to. And there is a Mutoid Man version of the announcer. And you fight him. What the hell is Dino Wars? Uh, it's, it's, it's a game where you fight... You, you pilot a giant robot dinosaur and uh, you fight other giant ro robot dinosaurs. I tell you what, Tradon, just for you, just for you if, you, can, if you can survive our coverage of Smash TV, I'll play a minute of Dino Wars for you because it is an NES game. And I, I guess you weren't here the two nights that we played it because I did do a full playthrough of it and then I played it again when it showed up in the magazine. <clears throat> Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. I will I will share the news with you. The good news of Dino Wars. Uh, oh god, oh god, okay. What's up, Rask? Good to see you. You're just in time for some NES Smash TV. How you doing, buddy? Fair part of Flashback is where you have to do the running man to buy the ticket to Earth. I think that's where I got stuck on that game. Or no, I, no, I made it to Earth. Earth is really fucking hard. That's, I think that's where I gave up on it. That'd be interesting. I've never, I've never two-fisted controllers before. Never dual wielded. Yeah, one player, one controller. One player, two controllers. Two players, two controllers. Two players, four controllers. So is that like two-fisting, like 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 this, like eh, eh, eh. this, a little bit this. I got, I got two fists. Each fist contains a controller. It's very accurate. All right, let's do this. Let's go. Let's go. I can do this. I can do this. Typo those controllers. I'm, I'm not sure how to hold them. Weird. Oh, oh, oh my lord. That's not what I was expecting. Oh my god. Oh my god. You hold them vertically. Oh, you hold them vertically. Oh my god, that's weird. You hold them. You hold them like fucking weak controllers or something. I'm, just, I'm, I'm gonna hold them like this so everybody can see what I'm doing. And because it doesn't fucking matter. Man, doing the diagonals on this is really hard. Alright, we, we wanna take the upper path, actually. How's the diagonal aiming? Awful. Like, incredibly hard to do. You'll need it. Oh god, it's one of those fat explodey fuckers. I hate those. Right. Oh, it's so hard to do diagonals, dude. It is so hard. Like, they basically don't exist. Like, even if you get them, it's impossible to hold. Did they... Am, am I insane? Or did they work? Did, did they work the, the gun shooting sound into the music? Or did the music just end? I'd buy that for a dollar. All right, my arms are getting tired. I gotta rest them on the desk. 
big money. Oh, uh, you didn't you, say say the line. Say the fucking line. Piece of shit. Ugh. Man, I loved Smash TV when I was a kid. I mean, I was I was a big arcade kid. So when Smash TV showed up, I was like, I was all about that. Like, I was, I was super into, I was super into the uh, sequel too, Total Carnage. But I was terrible at them. I was absolutely terrible. This is kind of making me wonder, like, because I haven't played these games in decades. Could I actually, could I actually maybe beat them? Like, I abs, uh, like, I definitely would not want to try with this version, with the NES version of Smash TV, but I'm kind of thinking maybe when we get to the the Super NES version, maybe I should take maybe I should take a serious swing at beating it. God. How many of y'all know about Total Carnage? Have seen it or have played it or anything? Shouldn't the SNES version be coming up soon? It's not too far. It's not too terribly far. Pause and swap the control force to see just the D-pad on your second controller. Oh, you know what? It might be. It might be because diagonal, mm, diagonal, mo mm, diagonal movement's still pretty rough. I'm not sure. I don't know this feels an actual controller. It might be the controller. My second controller is the old one. So it's it's hard to say. Also, Mr. Shrapnel's a real fuckface. Damn it! I was standing there for Mr. Shrapnel to just own. Yeah, honestly, it, it might just it might just be this controller because it's it's so old. Can we get rid of these sniper guys? They're really annoying. Wonder if anyone's ever done a remake of Smash TV? I don't think so. I think the rights holders for Smash for Smash TV just buried it. We good? Oh, I'm just a running man again now. Bonus prizes. I love it! So yeah, the prize rooms have a bunch of bonus treasure, but they also have a harder fight than the other rooms. Game's giving me a lot of one ups. I don't remember there being this many one ups in Smash TV. They actually did a pretty good job with the number of enemies, too. Like, I don't think they actually compromised. I think, I feel like this is accurate.
<laughs> Rask, I'm, I'm not really sure that's something that a bunch of people watching Middle-Aged Nerd play Smash TV on the NES can answer. I mean, I, I certainly can't. <laughs> Damn it! The tank thing has thrown me off. Weirding me out. Also, it's kind of like, when, when, when you respawn, you have a shield. It's kind of hard to see when your shield's about to fail. Rockets can you take to the face anyway? Think we're almost there. Dang. Yep, Mutoid Man. I'd buy that for a dollar. I'd buy that for a dollar. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So the, the Mutoid Man in this version doesn't... He, he, I, I guess he doesn't take locational. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. The arms are each bling. Yeah, but I was, it, what I was noticing was I was shooting him, I, I was shooting his left side and his right arm blew off. So I think maybe it doesn't have quite as detailed locational damage as the actual game. Out. Also, this is like a million times easier than the, than the SNES or, uh, or arcade versions. This is so much easier. This is a long fight. Guns, guns, guns. Yeah, that was that was incredibly easy. And this is us. We got 128,000 toasters, 82,000 roadsters, 116,000 VCRs. Oh, that's a great sound. I, I love that sound. Let's go. Imagine going home with 100,000 VCRs in your car, yeah. Orbs. All right, prepare to ponder. Oh, I remember these being really hard.
really feel like this version's a lot easier than the other versions of the game. I think lower path this time. Where Smash TV has a house minimum if you manage to win but pick up absolutely nothing like an idiot? That's a good question, actually. A very good question. It's like, yeah, this is this is definitely like baby mode compared to the arcade. I think things take a lot less damage. Like Mutoid Man was a perfect example of that. And it may actually be less stuff on the screen too. Cause some yeah, something is definitely going on here that's making this a whole lot easier. Oh my god. I forget what these are. But I remember they killed me a lot. What's up, Elsaris? Yeah, I, I hate I hate well, this is not Star Wars. This would this would be a very interesting take on, on the Star Wars epic to be sure. Um we're, we're we're playing NES Smash TV right now. I did okay at NES. Star Wars? I made it a lot farther than I thought I would. Yeah, up to the Dianaga. I kind of hate that the music doesn't loop during levels. Or, or during rooms. Like, it plays for a bit and then just cuts out completely. That's a little disappointing. I don't know why that house of a thousand Yodas just popped in my head. Brain, why? Because it's an awesome idea. I'd read a screenplay of that. Defend me! Defend who? Big money! Big private! It plays by commentary and music they dub into live TV broadcasts. <laughs> Oh lord. Oh, that's right, the magnificent 2600 inch TVs. I remember those now. Ah! Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, no! Okay, I think I actually got that, actually. Shit. Eee! This is not time for Mr. Shrapnel. Bad time for Mr. Shrapnel. Why do they keep giving me foot power-ups? Not doing anything for me. All right, I did it. Sounds like TV is too big to process all straight at once. God, that's a lot of orbs. Okay. Also, with the screen flicker, I can't really see everything that they're doing. Ah! There, there definitely were some massive CRT projection TVs. Um. Or just projection TVs in general. Uh, I'm trying to remember how big they got, but I remember they were like the size of cabinets. Big, big wooden cabinets with a big washed out screen. I don't 
think anyone anyone in my family ever had one. Like, I don't remember going over to anybody's house and seeing one, but I remember seeing them at, like, Sears and stuff. Okay, that went. You want to see the areas to focus on everything else had a weird shimmery effect. TV is just gonna leave radiation shadow on your back wall. Shit, 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 shit. Yeah, they are insanely generous with one ups in this. I don't think I've ever topped out at nine lives in Smash TV ever. Yeah. And one guy got inside my force field. Oh, damn it. Maybe this will be the one you beat? Could be. It's going well enough so far. Yeah. I don't, I, I can't remember. SNES, I, I think it was SNES, Smash TV. I can't remember if I've ever beaten Scarface or not. I can't, I've, I've never fought the snakes, I know that. But I don't know if I've ever beaten this level. Ow, my thumbs. This game is rather hard on the thumbs. Buffalo herd nearby. Ew. I don't know what the hell these are supposed to be, really. Oh, God, okay. In instant death. <laughs> There's like a control one in the middle, and if you blow that one up, it scatters the other ones. Wow, this room sucks. <laughs> I hate this room. Oh god, I hate this room. Smash them, TV. They're meant to be blobs, dummy. <laughs> yeah, they really need to keep the music going because the sound effects are kind of sad without it. I don't think you really want to be focusing that much on the sound effects in this game. Yeah, it's all kind of turning to static. Like it's just it's just becoming noise. There's a bit of Mario Paint music on in the background. <laughs> Oh my god, this room never ends. Oh shit, oh shit, 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 okay. Was Iron Lung any good? It seems like my kind of game. I enjoyed Iron Lung a lot. It's, uh, it's short, it's very atmospheric. It has, I think, a great ending. Not an ending I would have expected to like, but I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. So yeah, I would I would strongly recommend Iron Lung. Oh my god, it ended. 
Why doesn't the music loop? I don't get it. Chunks galore. Whoa, why am I not dead? That made no sense. Didn't have enough, they didn't have enough room on the cart to make music loop. You know what, I gotta believe that. Uh-oh. No, I wanted rockets. Damn it. Thank you, give me the rocket. Ugh. Whoa, how did I die there? Holy shit. Your hitbox, your hitbox must actually be tiny in this. Like this seems this seems to have some shmup style hitbox. Give me that, give me that. Oh, just showing off his gaming skills tonight. It's rare, but it does happen. And now awkward silence for the rest of the level. Da -na 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 -na. I think this is I think this is the last room before Scarface. The uh the laser death zone. Shit, I think I wanted that. Yeah. Yeah, I can't, I can't get any more extra lives after nine. Or if I can, it doesn't show them. Talking about me, Chad. You're lucky I'm so distracted by all the orbs. Pondering takes a lot of brain power. Alright. Did we make it? Is this Scarface sign? Need Scarface! I love it! I love it! Yep, there he is. So Scarface is a big face guy man thing. So you gotta you gotta blow the chunks. Oh shit. So he has like armor pieces around the outside of his face? that you have to blow off. And he shoots little spike discs at you, the things from uh, that old 90s board game Crossfire. So you gotta avoid those. And then after you blow up all the, all the shield parts on him, or I guess while, while you're blowing the shield parts off of him, like you kinda, you fuck his face up. His face is already looking pretty rough.
Oh, here we go. So this is supposed to be a skull. <laughs> a skull inside like an armored metal frame. So we're just gonna fuck that up. Got to say Japanese mascot. For what? We don't know. Also, I think the arcade version, the arcade and the SNES versions of them are bigger. Because I remember them taking up a lot of screen real estate. And being really hard to avoid. When he's kind of like bobbing and weaving around. Yeah, that's fine. Something, something a little longer range. There we are. I think we win. Oh, this is going really well. Mm. Alright, what do we win? TVs! Uh, 200,000 TVs. Luggage. Vacation. The sound design in this game leaves something to be desired. Remember Captain with Bay Beyblades Power Hour episode where they brought like 20 Beyblades? They're all ch cheap import knockoffs and those were made out of legitimate sharp metal. Oh my god. I've actually played Beyblade with my nephew and it's honestly kind of fun. No dice. Like he was he was explaining to me like the different styles of Beyblades and like the different the different parts you use and what kind of effects they had and I, I started to understand the whole system and get into it. It was honestly kinda neat. Imagine winning a hundred million vacations and just being like, I'm set for life, no more work. Ah. So Beyblades, what Beyblades is, is like, you build a top out of three components. Like the point, it's like the point, the disc, and the ring are all separate components. And the, they're designed so that if, if you impact them a certain way, they break apart. So you can actually, you can actually defeat Beyblades by doing damage to them. They're not just they're not just solid tops. You actually construct a custom top uh, based based on like the strengths and weaknesses of the tops you think you're going to be facing, and then you see wh which one which one lasts the longest or which one destroys the other one. It's legit cool. All right, what's the map for this place? Like um pretty much the same as the other one Let's go north this, this is supposed to be a jungle level yes actually you know what let's go straight then you get in the weird i did not know there are rc ba uh beyblades baked toast that's uh that's interesting can we just go straight for the boss Cause I'm okay with that. I don't, I don't need any more 2,600 inch TVs. I think, I think I'm good. I'm not gonna be watching them anyway while I'm on my 200,000 vacations. I'm not a fan of these snacks. Our exciting home game. That's what I'm playing right now. Once you're talking about Beyblade burst models, which are so called because they're made to burst when they take enough damage. Oh, okay, so that's a specific kind of Beyblade, not not the standard.
So er early, early Beyblades were just like last one standing kind of thing. It. I really don't like the grenade weapon. Ugh. Oh god, I hate it. Ah. That's like the worst feeling in the world when there's like when there's like a force field right there on the ground and you just can't reach it. I'd be tempted to buy some lawn dart just say I own the worst toy idea ever. Hey, what if bocce balls could kill you? Uh, yeah, let's just keep going straight. Home, home game smash to be just a handgun in a box. Scorpion fever, a year's supply of good meat. Prizes of stage three or shit. I think that's, so, one, one clever thing about this game is I think that's supposed to be a nod to the, like, Running Man style dystopian society that this is happening in. Where, like, you can risk your life and battle, like, through three huge arenas of, of murderous forces, and, like, one of the best prizes you can score is a year's supply of good meat. Somehow more valuable than, like, vacations to Hawaii or 2,600-inch TVs. Okay, shit's starting to get hard. They're starting to put a lot more shit on the screen and not giving out so much, uh... They're not giving out as many power-ups. Oh, come on, man. And if anything, the music is lasting even, like, an even shorter amount of time. Definitely not seeing as, as many one-ups this time. Now, now I'm kind of wondering, maybe I just got lucky? Like, aren't, aren't one-ups, like, maybe one-ups are just random and I just got some insanely good rolls? No. I don't think meat generally lasts for a year. I think the idea is they provide you, like, like, weekly or monthly stipends of meat for an entire year. It's like, it's like if you win, like, a year's supply of tacos from a place, they're not going to give you, like, like 700 tacos all at once. <laughs> you can just go in any time during the year and get more tacos. <laughs> Although now, now that I'm saying it out loud, I'm, I'm, I'm just finding the concept incredibly funny. <laughs> Hooray, I won a year's supply of, di of burgers from Carl's Jr. and they just back up to your house with a truck. And drop off like a thousand greasy congealed burgers. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Hope you got a freezer chest or seven. <laughs> Did I play Grifflands? No, I didn't. I did not. <clears throat> Vessi was after me to play that for a while. But just kind of kind of slip past me <laughs> Rats. what what did, what did you think of uh, notable underground indie game portal 2 had you had you really never played it before I feel like that's a rare thing in 2022. And just give you a truckload of tacos. I hate to tell you, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but uh, yeah. Uh, levels over. Levels over. Can we leave. Na -na -na, na -na -na -na. You haven't played Portal Two. What the hell, Eva? How can you? How can you sit there and chat every night, making fun of me about whatever? and not have played Portal 2. I don't know how these factoids are connected, but I'm running with it. Back, thank you, backlits, I need that. Uh, 
garage. Okay, if there are any, if there are any Smash TV experts in the audience, I've always wondered this. The force field you get at your feet, the green one that eventually turns red, do you lose it faster if, like, if it takes damage? Or do you just have it for a very short set period? Because I've never been able to figure that out. It lasts so briefly regardless. I can't tell if I'm using it up by, like, just, like, cleaving through people with it. Someone played Half-Life? Holy shit! There was a period in my life where I was doing yearly playthroughs of Half-Life. Like, that's definitely one of my all-time favorite first-person shooters. One of my all-time favorite games, honestly. Only played Halo for the first time this fall. Any Halo? I mean, I haven't really... Okay, okay, okay. If we're, if we're, doing, if we're doing gaming confessions here, then. Um, I haven't really played Halo. I, I played the first one a bit. But I was never really into it. Hot take, Portal, Portal 2 is pretty good. Because <laughs> you're extremely open to criticism, largely. Okay, fair. Fair, fair, fair. Oh, I forgot to see what this one's called. I'm gonna try and make this rocket launcher last. Because if it's just these guys, this is definitely going to be the best way to handle this. Also, yeah, I, I can I can totally understand if y'all aren't into uh, FPSs. That's that's a very legit reason to have passed on these. There is no way that's it. Are you for real? The music hasn't even cut out yet. Loved Half-Life Sans Zen. I found Half-Life 2 to be boring. Half-Life 2 has a very different pace to it, to be fair. I think what's going on here is they're expecting the actual combat to last a lot longer than it does. Like, I'm kind of wondering if maybe these rooms are timed. Oh, oh, Jesus, okay. Okay, so they just give you a ton of buffer to take out those tanks? Wow, okay, that was weird. Black Mesa makes Zen a lot longer. I'm not sure if that's an improvement. Here's a hot take for you. I like Zen. I really like the original Zen. Big money, big I love it. Played Blood 2. It makes me sad, but I played it. I feel, I feel like, like Zen does a really, really, really good job of capturing the feel of a truly alien world. And, and the logic it would be governed by. And I never I never really found the platforming there to be all that difficult. Because they do a pretty good job of, of teaching you what to expect and then like with the with the whole long jump system and then also pairing it with uh, with low gravity. I I don't love the big ball sack monster boss fight. And the, the, the final boss fight, I, okay, the final boss fight definitely sucks if you fall for its gimmick. If it teleports you, like, that boss fucking blows. Otherwise, it's pretty okay. I'm, I'm getting to a point where my eyes aren't really focusing on any one thing on screen. I'm just, I'm just merging my consciousness with Smash TV. 
When are we gonna have a community night that's just arena-based shooters? Uh, I guess when you run it. Because the theme, the theme for community nights is always up to the person who runs it. Like we're doing, we're doing platformers for May. This month was, uh, was, so April's, April's community night is next Friday and it's gonna be a roguelike run back. We're gonna be playing Streets of Rogue, which I streamed a very long time ago and actually beat on stream because I did it multiplayer and everybody else did it for me. Um, but we're gonna play that again. Uh, and then the concept for May's community night is gonna be a platformer of some kind. So yeah, if you want to see arena-based shooters for Community Night, volunteer to run one. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah! Jesus Christ. Brought it up as a rhetorical question. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Okay. I mean, it's definitely not a bad idea. Ah, oh, no! Oh, I was doing so well. I had this, I had this under control. Does anybody remember what these are supposed to be? Because I don't. Like, very angry torsos? Weird. It turned rhetoric into reality. Might help you shot daggling more often. My shooting D-pad is old, and I'm having a really hard time doing diagonals on it. But you're absolutely right. I don't think I want to do that. Hover droids. Oh, yeah, maybe hover droids. That's a thought. Yee! Hugotron. I just want to give you a hug. Yeah. I'm sorry, I really I don't I don't want the grenades. I've had enough grenades. I like I like rocket launching. Rocket launcher. Hey, we're doing these guys, we need this. They hug your spine out of your body. Oh man, I just realized. So like in in arcade and oh fuck, in arcade and SNES Smash TV, uh, when your personal shield dies, it turns red. It doesn't do that in this one. It starts out as like two big green circles, and then it turns into one green circle, and then it just vanishes. And that's not nice. That is not what I want to see. So many dudes. This would be, this would be so much more exciting if there were music. This is supposed to be like the climactic final battle. The last arena question mark. And it's so quiet. <laughs> you could hear a pin drop amongst these hundreds and hundreds of people being mowed down mercilessly. <laughs> it's raining, man. Specifically, their insides. Okay, grenade's not really helping me here, Chief. Grenade's not really helping. I mean, it's still it's still better than the basic gun is the is the frustrating part. But man, every weapon in this game. Wait, 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 wait! I just realized they're missing a weapon from this one. In the boss arenas. Oh, I bet that's why. In the boss arenas. You get you get access to a special weapon 
that's like it's like a vertical grenade launcher that fires that uh fires yellow grenades in a big arc i guess i guess maybe they didn't they didn't have the technical skill to make that work on the nes because yeah i just i just realized i've oh shit i haven't realized they haven't they haven't uh used it i haven't i haven't been able to use it on any of the bosses come on man I know it's the last arena, but man, give it a rest. Shit. You know you fucked up when you get close enough to those guys for them to actually take a swing at you. Oh my god, I did it. What's that for the mooks? Like we're winning meat in Hawaii, is what do they get? I I, I assume they're probably like uh convicts or something. Like they don't they don't really have a choice. Maybe they're they're promised their freedom if they manage to kill the contestant. Cobra death. Big money, big they get to live. I love it. Or it could be clones, yeah. Oh my god. Okay, so they couldn't. Okay, so in the in the actual arcade and SNES versions, it's. The bosses, the boss here, it's twin cobras. They come out of holes in the ground. Um, and they kind of like tower over you and shoot stuff at you. Clearly they couldn't do that on the NES. So we get this, which is kind of like a Zelda boss. Oh, well you do get two of them. They, they, they did at least go in on that. Oh, I think, oh, I think one of them's breaking apart now. Okay. Nope, I need that. Wait, they're not actually getting shorter. They just get they're just allowed to do that? That's bullshit. That's cheating. So yeah, this is this is entire this is an entirely different fight from other versions of Smash TV. Okay. Oh, okay. That means he died. Snake rattle and roll got darker. Oh, fuck off, man. Come on. We're here. We're at the end. The grand finale. Fucking go down. Can die, dude. Oh, 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 oh. Threat this. I don't I don't want to use grenades on this guy because I have to get oh there we go, we got him. Woo! Hooray! I'm the wiener. Enter key room one. What? What? So, so in normal Smash TV, there's there are very rare power-ups that are keys, and if you if you collect ten keys across the the course of the game, you get to enter the key room at the very end. But there have been no key pickups in this, so I don't know what this is. This is a really weird version of this game. Now I'm now I'm wondering if you're actually gonna fight the announcer. Because I, I think in the normal game, I think you, you actually backtrack through Area 3 to one of the treasure rooms, and I think you fight the announcer there. But we're definitely not backtracking. 
I don't know what we're doing at this point. Yo, oh, 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 enough with the lasers. Give it a, give it a rest. Give it a rest there, Chief. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. A lot of orbs. There's too many orbs. Are, are we about done with the orbs? No? No? More orbs? Okay. They want more orbs. They said more orbs, and who am I to argue? <laughs> My orbs? <laughs> kind of surprised there isn't a snack food called My Orbs. This one just keeps going. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. This is this has been a lot of fighting. Are we are we about done? Are we good? Are we, are, are we good? Are we cool? Okay. Okay. Alright. Good. Where are we going now? Enter key room two. No! I want I want to be done. Maybe, 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 maybe the way it works in this one. Maybe there were like a certain number of hidden keys in the, in this version, and if we had found any of them, there would have been other ways to exit other than going to the right. So maybe there's like there's like three key rooms or something. So we gotta we gotta fight through the waiting rooms for those, and then maybe we're done. I don't know. This is very weird. This is this is not at all how I expected this to go down. Mr. Fucking Shrapnel takes so much damage. What a little shit. Yo, oh, shit! No, I missed the force field. Damn it! I really wanted that. Okay, I definitely want that. Yeah, it just keeps coming. I'm in I'm in this just zen state of murder right now. I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. I don't I, I don't think that the Zen masters of old ever counted on the existence of Smash TV for the NES.
Oh shit, shit. Okay, oh, okay, 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 okay. Woo! Woo! Yeah, I'm I'm in a game trance. A smash trance. Come on, Mr. Shrapnel. Don't be late to your own level. Key room three, and then are we done maybe? Uh, eat my eyeballs. What? <laughs> Good luck. You all need I guess this is the announcer? Yep, there he is. I told you you had to fight the announcer. He's just, it's just Mutoid Man again. That's it. And it seems like he has just as little health as the original Mutoid Man in this one. Whoa! Good thing I'm shielded. Oh, he has, oh, he has, he has much, he has much more range on his eye beams. And I guess he's faster? Like, not like, not like unreasonably fast. He's definitely faster. Oh my god, give me a weapon. Or an extra life, I'll take that. All right, there goes your head. Ah! <laughs> okay. All right, should be dead. Yeah, down to just the head now. Definitely one of this. I think we did it. We did it. Is that it? Da -da, na -na -na, na -na -na. This is just the one song. That's it. All right. I can honestly say I of, of the things that I thought might happen tonight, beating Smash TV was not one of them. I I would have sooner assumed I would beat NES Star Wars. So that's a bit of a surprise. It's a lady! Congratulations! You have graduated to the elite ranks of Smash TV Survivors! Guess that means no need to play it on NES, uh, on SNES now. You're a great Smash TV player! Well, like, thank, thank you. Maybe, maybe the best of all time, chat. I mean, come on. The game said it? How, how can you deny that? She's like, uh, can I go now? She's like, yeah, this is really awkward. Really, really fucking weird. I actually beat Smash TV, holy shit. I've never done this before. Um, it will be interesting to get to the SNES version and see how it compares. Like, it would be really, it'd be really interesting. Cause this one was smooth sailing, like the whole way. Oh, shut up. <laughs> this one was smooth sailing the whole way. It'll be really interesting if the Super Nintendo one is like way harder. Because there, there are definite differences in this one that make it easier. Um, I was getting an absurd amount of one-ups. Certain enemies took a lot less damage, most notably the bosses. Yes, I will, I will get you your Dino Wars trade-on, which, I mean, this is, this is perfect, actually, because we don't really have time to go back to the magazine anyway. So let's, let's wind down. Oh, my God, look at that face. Holy shit. Ah, oh, much better. Um, yeah, we'll wind down a little Dino Wars, and then, uh, I actually have something I want to ask y'all, for those of you that have survived the evening up to this point. Hang on a sec. 
pop this out here. Because otherwise I'm gonna get completely tangled in cords. The whole two controller thing actually worked pretty well. Um, I'm sure if I had if, if I had a uh, a my a second controller in better shape, uh, the shooting would have gone even smoother. But uh, it certainly worked well enough. Damn it! Good thing these old controllers are made of Ninton Nin Nintendonium or whatever the hell people called it. Um. All right, Dino Wars. I actually really like this game. I did a full playthrough of this. Um, the destruction of Spondylius. So the idea is the planet of Spondylius has been attacked by some evil uh, scientist or something, and you are a good scientist, you're this guy. So you are gonna go, you're gonna get in your giant dinosaur robot and fix things so there are a couple there's there's two kinds of stage in this there's there's an on foot stage for your little guy where he runs around and shoots stuff This is this is not the the Dino Wars, the Dino Warring part, which I'm I'm sure you're eager to get to. Ow. Okay, here we go. Now now is the Dino Warring. Is that an E tank? Technically yes. It restores your health. All right. This is our big robot dinosaur. We jump in that, and now it's time for the second kind of level, where we stomp around as a giant robot dinosaur and we punch other giant robot dinosaurs. Punch, 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 punch. Okay, that was interesting. Punch me a robot Stegosaurus. All right, we got fireballs. Okay, fireballs kind of suck. I'm gonna take the launch fist. Triceratopper. Excuse me. Yeah, you play a giant robot dinosaur with a uh, rocket punch. Uh, I don't want that. Uh, eh. And if you collect multiples of the same power up, it makes it even stronger. Oh, this is a Triceratops with a launcher of some kind on the top. There we go, launch fist two. Now it launches even farther. Punch of these dinos in the dino dick. Launch fist three. Now it goes extra super double plus far. Eh. I guess it does more damage too. Ah, oh, fuck! Robot pterodactyl. Yeah. Okay, but if I had an NES as a kid, I would have loved this. I did. I rented this game, and I thought it was super cool. So yeah. This is this is one of those hidden gems on the NES that I love sharing with people via the power hours. Like, I, I feel like this is this is basically what the power hours is for. Discovering games like Dino Wars. I looked at them as such negative reviews. I mean, that's bullshit. This is a really fun game. It's very simple. It's, I think, eight, seven or eight stages of this. Like, you basically, you have a dinosaur section and then you have an on foot section. And obviously the dinosaur sections are more fun, but like none of this is bad. Nothing about this game is bad. And it's a neat concept. So yeah, this is this is what you're doing. You need to destroy these uh, cores on every planet. There we go. 
Friend of Wikipedia reviewers called it boring and repetitive. I will, I will give them repetitive because it's basically the same formula. Like, they don't ever really do anything crazy with the dinosaur levels. They just get longer. Same with these. They, they never become, like, maze-like or anything. But, again, it's it's a simple, fun platformer. It's cool. It said the gameplay was unbalanced. That... I don't, I don't really understand. Yeah, I don't, I don't even understand what that means. Let's go. My planet needs... Or is it just Bionic Commando? Yeah, base. I mean, I will tell you right now, you can you can do way worse on the NES than this. I mean, we we have done way worse just this week. They also said dinosaurs and giant robots are for nerds. All right, this guy's being a giant asshole, so fuck him. What's that blue thing above you? I'm not actually sure. I think it's some kind of satellite, but it never has any kind of gameplay impact whatsoever. It never does anything. It's just always there. Yeah, it's actually a really good question. I've, I've never really thought about it that, that carefully. Okay, chat, I have a question for you. For everyone who's who's managed to last the evening up to this point. Look at these reviews, and they all seem to drift into just rant, or a ranting of this nerd called Oddish liking it. Yeah, this, this game has, like, peak NES vibe. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, there's a bunch more cool stuff in this magazine. There's, there's more NES games, like Kickmaster and Worm. There are SNES games like Final Fight, but there's also Final Fantasy Adventure. And Final Fantasy Adventure has been requested. And frankly, I want to do a full playthrough of it. has been a long ass time since I last did a full playthrough of Final, Fa of Final Fantasy Adventure. I really enjoy it. My question to you, chat, those those of you that have that have stayed the whole night for the power hour, how would you feel if next week, Thursday and Saturday, we played through Final Fantasy Adventure? I don't I don't think it would take longer than two nights. I could be wrong. But would y'all be interested enough in seeing that to to take like a week long break from the magazine? Oh, I think this is laser. Yeah, this is beam. Third act of boss. Oh man, this might not end well. Yeah, laser might not have been a good choice for this. <laughs> Never mind. He's weak against laser. <laughs> Follow your heart. I like that answer. I'm always a big fan of that an of that answer. Oh, game over. Fortunately, they let you continue right from where you left off. You lose your power ups, but eh. They're not that hard to get back. CNN called a Mazer a laser like an idiot. Wow, what a bunch of morons. Two different things, dumbasses. I think if I I think if you get on here, basically, yeah, this thing can't. So I love this. Oh, never mind. It, it can still hit you, but it does so little damage, it's not like it actually matters. Yay. Alright, so does, does anybody else have any opinions about doing Final Fantasy Adventure next week? 
because I would like to, but if y'all are too attached to the power hours, I can save it for another time. Sure, why not? That's the spirit. <laughs> Whatever. Actually, let me check. I want to check something real quick. Might be able to get some insight uh, on this. Just curious now. Don't really care. All Black Mage Party go. I'm going to disconnect and go to bed. I need to see if I get some sleep. Good plan, trade on. Good, good plan. I will be doing so similarly soonish. Let's back. Hmm, 10 hours. Final Fantasy Adventure might be longer than I remember. I still might want to do it. You too, Trade On. Have a good one. Yeah, I might do it anyway. Because <laughs> otherwise, it's gonna be it's gonna be another really long time before before we get the chance. Because we're gonna be doing Thief Two, and that's gonna take that's gonna take a couple that's gonna take like three weeks at the rate that we go. And then I've already got something planned right after that. That's gonna take some time. So, and I really, I really like that game. So yeah, I think, I think we're gonna do Final Fantasy Adventure next. I think it'll be, it'll be fun. I think it'll be a good time for all. Anyway, chat. Um, we didn't make it very far into this, into this issue, but we, we've certainly learned a lot tonight. We've certainly had a bunch of experiences. Um. We made it surprisingly far into NES Star Wars, and then we actually beat NES Smash TV, which I wasn't expecting at all. So that feels like an accomplishment. Um, so, schedule. Tomorrow night, I'm off. It's Sunday. It's Easter. Go find some eggs and think about Jesus. I don't know what you do. Um, good rule for Thief games is usually one hour a map. I'm expecting... I'm, I'm just assuming for Thief 2, we're going to do two missions a night. Um, I think that's kind of how it shook out for Thief 1. Because I, I do a lot of exploring. And I'm, I'm going to be playing on the highest difficulty where you basically have to do everything. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming like an hour and a half per mission. Which will, if if that holds, will will work out perfectly for the schedule I've envisioned. Because it'll mean we will end like the day before May the May the fourth. You might be able to figure out what we're doing then. No. Uh, but yes, Thief Two starts on Monday. Very very excited about that. Thief Two will be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. On Thursday, let's start Final Fantasy Adventure. Let me show you. Uh, probably the closest that Squaresoft ever came to making their own Zelda game. And then next Friday is Community Night. We're going to be playing Streets of Rogue again. Um, and if y'all want to join me, you can. I'm going to open it up to multiplayer if y'all want to want to go hog wild with me. Because that, really, that was a really, really fun time the first time I played it. And then we'll continue Final Fantasy Adventure on Saturday as well. So, so Power Hours, we're gonna take we're gonna take a very brief break, but kind of not a break because we're just gonna be full play playing a game that's featured in it. So, yeah, no, no big deal. It's fine. No, nobody here cares anyway. It's, you might have to reinstall it. You should. Even. You should. It's an open invitation for people to to grief me in Streets of Rogue. All right, gang, let me find somebody to go raid. How about... How about... How about... How about, how about Bassy again? Because everybody is playing Elden Ring. I swear to God. I'm going to have to play Elden Ring just so I can raid people who are playing Elden Ring. This is getting to be a bit much.
All right, gang. Thanks again for coming out. Thanks for joining me in my moment of triumph. I can I consider the distance I got into NES Star Wars to be a triumph. And I consider beating Smash TV to be a triumph. I mean, come on. Seriously. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you had a good time. And hopefully I will see you all on Monday for the start of Thief 2. I, oh, I can't wait. I wish it was Monday already. But we'll just have to wait until then. Hopefully I'll see you then. Till then, as always, y'all take care. Bye, everybody.